Early access for The Division 2 is one day closer to becoming a reality, and this new chapter in The Division has brought in new and highly complex mechanics for talents and gear. To help get both new and returning agents ready for the release, I have again teamed up with Sean and Sean from The Division Academy and The Division Elites to bring you part two of this series of tutorials into build theory crafting for The Division 2. Agent Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer activated and ready for another tutorial, and it really feels good to be getting ready for the release of The Division 2. But before I begin, I would like to again thank my partners, Sean from The Division Academy and Sean from The Division Elites, links to their social media platforms in the video description below, for their knowledge and guidance in forming these tutorials. This is the second of four scheduled tutorials into The Division 2, and today I will be concentrating on something I know has a lot of you thoroughly confused out there. So without further delay, let's dive right into Weapon Talents. For the purpose of this Weapon Talent tutorial, I will be referencing a high-end weapon, as this is more geared towards end game, but the same basic principles apply across the board to lower tiers of weaponry. Every high-end weapon will come with three weapon talents on the weapon itself. The first is a passive handling characteristic that is always unlocked, and these include Accurate, Allegro, Distance, Extra, Jazz Hands, Optimized, and Stable. Diving into each weapon talent in this category, starting off with Accurate, and returning Division agents will remember this weapon talent from the first game. More accuracy will help settle the crosshairs back from widened or full bloom to zeroed even faster, and this would be especially helpful on marksman rifles. Allegro is a bit of an enigma in this category in that it increases your weapon's RPM and will therefore increase your DPS. Distance will increase your weapon's optimal range and will therefore carry maximum damage per round out even further. Extra increases your magazine size, and we all know that more ammo is never a bad thing. Jazz Hands will decrease your reload times by 10%, and faster reloads, especially in PvP, are extremely useful. Optimize grants your agent small bonuses to stability, accuracy, reload speed, and weapon swap speed, although in smaller amounts than the individual talents themselves. And finally, we come to Stable, which provides a boost in weapon stability, and this will decrease the muzzle rise of your weaponry while firing and keep the muzzle closer to horizon. On a quick side note, passive weapon talents are always unlocked and feature no requirements to unlock. Next up are the active weapon talents, and these can be broken into two separate categories, which are advanced and superior. Let's begin with the advanced weapon talents, and this weapon talent category is further broken down into two subcategories, active and holstered. The active advanced weapon talents include cannon, eyeless, fast hands, ignited, in rhythm, lucky shot, measured, protected reload, recharged, rooted, sadist, salvage, stop, drop, and roll, unhinged, and zen. Cannon increases throwing distances by 10%, and this could be useful for agents who love to take cover and lob in grenades and skills. Eyeless is a damage buff predicated on a status effect. In this case, the enemy must be blinded in order for it to apply. Fast Hands works much the same as Hurry did in the original game, and that critical hits reduce reload speeds. Ignited works the same as Eyeless by dealing extra weapon damage to targets under a status effect. In this case, targets that are on fire. In Rhythm is an odd chance weapon talent that can potentially refresh your active cooldown timers. Killing an enemy target gives you a 5% chance for this to occur, and the chance effect has a 1 minute cooldown timer before it can occur again. Lucky Shot not only increases your magazine size, but missed shots have a chance to add ammo directly back into your magazine. Measured features a rate of fire increase damage trade-off mechanic, and that when you have the higher rate of fire, you are dealing less damage per round. But once the mechanic swaps, your rate of fire decreases, but you deal more damage per round. 
Protected Reload grants 10% additional armor while reloading, and with the increased reload times in the Division 2, this might not be a bad weapon talent. Recharged is a skill haste chance mechanic, and that killing enemy targets from cover has a chance to recharge depleted skill charges. Rooted rewards players who constantly stay in cover by increasing skills damage and healing by 25% for 25 seconds, but the buff is lost once the agent leaves cover, and this buff can only occur once every 60 seconds. Sadist is the third status effect weapon talent in this category, along with Eyeless and Ignited, and that it grants additional damage versus targets under a status effect, in this case, targets that are bleeding. Salvage works much the same as Meticulous, a weapon talent from the original Division game, and that killing an enemy target has a chance to instantly refill your magazine. Stop, Drop, and Roll grants players the ability to cleanse themselves from status effects such as Burn, Bleed, or Poison by performing a combat roll. This can only occur once every 60 seconds. Unhinged grants a 10% weapon damage increase, but at the expense of 50% weapon handling, so you will decrease your stability, accuracy, reload speed, and weapon swap speeds. And finally, we land on Zen, which allows an agent to remove the blind and disorient status effects by resting in cover for three seconds. But we are not done with the advanced weapon talents category, as we also need to cover the holstered weapon talents, which include Double Duty, Everlasting, Greased, Overlap, Transmission, and Wascally. Double Duty reloads the weapon you have this weapon talent equipped for every time you reload your primary weapon, so in a way, it works like a modified Lone Star talent. Everlasting regenerates ammo while in cover, and like I said before, having more ammo is always a positive attribute. Greased increases weapon swap speeds, which can be extremely useful if you are engaged in PvP and need to get a lightning quick weapon swap in to finish off your target. Overlap grants a handling bonus based on the weapon's type, and this is a bit vague in the way it awards values to the various archetypes. Transmission looks very interesting in that if you get shocked by an enemy, the shock can also transfer to an enemy target within 10 meters but can only occur once every 60 seconds. And rounding out the holstered advanced weapon talents is Wascally, which grants agents the ability to resist two ensnare attempts. Just to clarify, the advanced weapon talents perform the same as the free weapon talent slot on our weaponry in the original Division game, and that there are no requirements for them to unlock. If you see one of these weapon talents on your equipped weapon, it is instantly activated and working. Now towards the end of this video, I will also quickly discuss how weapon talents will appear on your weaponry and in what amounts, but for now, let's move on to the third and final weapon talent category, with that being superior weapon talents. Superior talents require that the agent meet a set of stat requirements to activate, have some of the highest returns for activating, and typically have a timer for how long the status effect is active. Superior weapon talents include Breadbasket, Close and Personal, First Blood, Killer, On Empty, Optimist, Perpetuation, Preservation, Pummel, Ranger, Reformation, Rifleman, Spike, Steady Handed, Strained, and Vindictive. For these superior weapon talents, I will not only discuss the individual talents themselves, but also the needed stat points required for activation, starting off with Breadbasket. This weapon talent is a damage stacking talent that requires the agent to land body shots to boost the damage multiplier and must then land a headshot to apply the additional damage. For each body shot landed, the potential damage is built by 5% and can be stacked a maximum of 10 times. The maximum damage of plus 50% must then be applied via a headshot, and the status for the buildup lasts 10 seconds. An agent will need 5 or more points in the offensive stack category in order to unlock Breadbasket. Close and Personal grants plus 35% additional weapon damage for a 5 second duration for killing a target within 7 meters. Think of it as a much stronger version of Responsive from the original Division game, albeit with a tighter range to target requirement and on a timer. An agent will once again need at least 5 offensive stat points to unlock this weapon talent. 
First Blood deals headshot damage to any part of an enemy body hit when the first shot is fired from a full magazine. This could lead to some interesting builds predicated on full devotion to headshot damage and a high caliber weapon. First Blood requires that the agent equip at least an 8x zoom scope or higher and could possibly be a marksman rifle specific weapon talent. Killer grants plus 50% critical hit chance for a 5 second duration after killing an enemy with a critical hit. If an agent could get this weapon talent to chain together while in a mob of enemies, they could be constantly proccing the extra critical hit chance and dealing the extra damage on a consistent basis. Killer requires an agent to have at least 5 or more points in the offensive stat category to unlock. On empty grants the user plus 30% weapon handling for 10 seconds if reloading from empty. Remember that the weapon handling passive talent optimized grants small bonuses to stability, accuracy, reload speed, and weapon swap speeds, and on empty would increase those bonuses even further. An agent will need four or less defensive stat points in order to unlock on empty. Optimist increases damage the further an agent goes into the current magazine. So the longer you keep your finger on the trigger and burn through the equipped magazine, the more damage each round will do, with the bonuses differing in returns based on the weapon type equipped. Optimist will require 5 or less offensive stat points to unlock. Perpetuation grants the user plus 5% skill duration for 5 seconds for killing an enemy with a headshot. This talent sounds a bit high risk, low reward, but could lead to some high turret or other skill durations if an agent can successfully not only land headshots, but get kills with those headshots. Perpetuation will require 5 or more skill stat points to unlock. Preservation repairs armor by plus 5% over a 3 second duration for killing an enemy, with headshot kills improving the repairs. For an agent looking for even more tankiness, this could add a little extra toughness while in a protracted firefight as long as they can land the killing blow on an enemy. This talent requires 7 or more defensive stat points to unlock. Pummel grants plus 50% weapon damage for a duration of 7 seconds after recording 3 consecutive body shot kills. At a potential 50% damage gain, Pummel is tied for the highest damage gain of any weapon talent currently known of in the game and not only grants the user the damage buff, it instantly refills the magazine, so you can start the 7 second duration with a full magazine. Pummel will require 4 or more offensive stat points to unlock. Ranger grants an additional 2% weapon damage for every 10 meters you are away from your target. This buff stacks up to 10 times, so for a maximum damage return of 20%, you would need to be at a distance of 100 meters to your intended target. Ranger requires 4 or less offensive stat points to unlock. Reformation increases skill repair and healing by 25% for 25 seconds for killing a target with a headshot. Now in some regards, Reformation works much like Predatory from the original Division game, but with a headshot kill requirement. An agent will need 4 or less offensive stat points to unlock this talent. Rifleman grants a stacking headshot bonus of 10% weapon damage for 5 seconds for landing headshots. The bonus can stack up to 5 times, and additional headshots will refresh the bonus while non-headshots have the opposite effect. Now, For an agent that has the ultimate in accuracy, this could be a great marksman talent. Rifleman requires 4 or less defensive stat points to unlock. Spike grants plus 25% skill damage for 10 seconds for killing a target with a headshot, and for the skill build player that can land headshot kills, this is a large amount of extra damage your skills will be able to output on target. Spike requires 5 or more skill stat points to unlock. Steady Handed grants a weapon handling stack bonus of 2% for every shot landed to a total max stack of 15 for a total gain of 30%. Once at max stacks, each shot landed has a 5% chance to consume the weapon handling bonus and refill the magazine. An agent will need 5 or less offensive stat points to unlock this talent. Strained grants plus 10% critical hit damage for every 5% of your armor that is depleted. 
this win-lose weapon talent can stack up to 20 times for a total potential gain in critical hit damage of 200%, which seems to be completely overkill. If this talent stays intact, this is the single biggest critical hit damage gain in the game. Strained will require five or less offensive stat points to unlock. And finally, we come to Vindictive, which grants all group members within 15 meters a 20% critical hit chance buff for 10 seconds if the agent kills an enemy while the enemy is under a status effect. This weapon talent will require four or less offensive stat points to unlock. So now that we've covered the weapon talents in depth, let's quickly look at how they will be applied to our weaponry. Now for the purposes of this video, I will be referencing a piece of high-end weaponry, and each one of these will receive one passive weapon talent, one active weapon talent, and one holstered weapon talent. The active weapon talent could either be advanced or superior, so it is important for you to pay close attention to which weapon talents you have on the selected weapon and know if the weapon talent is immediately active or needs a certain amount of stat points to unlock. In addition to the passive, active, and holstered weapon talents, you will also need to take into account the two holstered weapon talents on your other two weapons that you don't currently have equipped. That's right, on your primary weapon, you can have four or even five weapon talents all working at the same time if you have the necessary stat points to unlock them. Now, I say up to five weapon talents at once if you have a superior active weapon talent that reads while equipped in the talent text. Now, if this is the case, you will have the holstered weapon talent from this weapon activated as well. So just to review, if you have an advanced weapon talent that reads while equipped in the weapon text, you would have the passive weapon talent, advanced active talent, and all three holstered talents both from your primary, secondary, and sidearm activated all at the same time. I think it goes without saying that this new system of weapon talents is quite a bit more complex than the older system of unlocks in the division. In that original game, we were required to meet a minimum threshold of main stats, either firearms, stamina, or electronics in order to unlock the weapon talents. As long as you met the main stat requirements, the weapon talent was unlocked and active but that was the old game. For now, we will need to completely wipe our memory clean and start over with this newer and much more complex weapon talent system. As always, I would appreciate you taking the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my continued coverage of The Division 2 in your lives, make sure to pound that sub button and remember to configure and save to receive all notifications from my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitter and look for me over on Twitch with weekly streams. Thank you again to the Division Academy and the Division Elites for their awesome guidance and contributions to this series. Check the video description for links to their various platforms. And until my next The Division video, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.